Right, the old Bentley. Yeah, lovely old girl, isn't she? Yeah, uh, what an old car, what a lovely old car. Just driven it around the village there, no miles at all, but you can tell, dead right. Doesn't it drive lovely? Sweet old car, lovely engine, as good an engine as I've ever heard. Um, she's on original old cross buys, look. So obviously, wandering all over the road, naturally. But the steering's light because of it. But to be fair, you're gonna have to set your, um, um, invest in a set of cross uh, radials, really. Mm. Um, you know, you put a new set of cross buys on if you want, but I can't really see the point. A set of radials is gonna make the steering a bit heavier, we know, but it's gonna make it drive dead straight. Mm. Um, I'm no expert on these, but all the ones that you have driven, I always seem to be, obviously I'm ever so careful with the gears, but you always seem to be just just trying to really gently ease them in and find them. But this, I found yeah, the no, slots in lovely. I really rated this. I said to you this morning, didn't I? That yeah. drives ever so nice. Yeah, you did, yeah. yeah no, you know, I found you, the same you, thing. The gears you're not fighting fully. with the gears. They just go slot yeah. straight into place, don't they? Just, ever so smooth. Absolutely. I just tried second gear synchro as I came in the car park, and uh, it was absolutely, well, like a Ford. It's yeah. Perfect, um, no, it's a nice car. It's got the makings of a really, really nice car. Uh, I, mean, I mean, the bodywork's not mint and immaculate. Again, it's not, a, as we said earlier, not a trailer queen, but it's a lovely usable car. Mm. Lovely chrome on it and what have you. A little bit of flaking here and there. Very minor, really. You could blow some of this sort of stuff in, make it look quite nice and tidy for the time being. I cannot see the point in taking it off the road, stripping it down, repainting it, um, doing the interior. And you're going to be scared to use it. It's usable as it is. Mm. Extremely usable car. Um, but you must address the interior. Whoever buys it, the first job, you really must address it because it's now extremely dry in there. And we, we've got some split there on that seat there. Look, we've got true dryness. We've got some oil that would make that so lovely and supple and then colour it up. Mm. You don't do it the other way around. I know common sense would tell you colour it up first and all that, but you don't. You supple it up first and then you colour it. Uh, and it would colour up nice. You know, all, all this would do it all, all, all at the same time, so it all matches up nicely. Get a proper kit, a proper colourising kit. Prior to that, get some oil on it straight away. I'm tempted to even oil it. It's not my responsibility, but I'm tempted to do it anyway and soften it up. So if the vendor wants me to, I'll, I'll, I'll do the seats, um, which will go a long, long way to uh, to improving the feel of the interior full stop and the smell of it and such like Although it's lovely. Um, but generally speaking, yeah, I mean, fabulous value for money car, aren't they? They're just incredible value for money car. They're just, they're, they're, they're the entry model, if you like, um, luxury uh, Rolls Royce Bentley uh, uh, sort of cars. I, I can't imagine now they can ever be any cheaper. Because they're for nothing as it is. I mean, 15 to 20,000 buys you quite a nice car. 25 to 30 buys you a lovely car. And when you think of the quality and the presence of that car, oh, wonderful. How many people must have took photos of this oh, within an hour of it being on the forecourt this morning? There absolutely. must have been 30 people take a photograph. Absolutely. They're very photogenic. And they remind me of, the older people will know what I'm talking about, a James Robertson Justice in the old Carry On films. That's what you drove, one of them, and just, just steered it about. And with, with them, we've, we've got these ourselves, but you know, we've got a couple of these, haven't we? And, and, uh, and you, you don't steer them, you point them. Mm. Uh, and you, you point that flying bee or that mascot, and you just follow that, you know, it's just, they're, they're regal. Um, they've got, a, like I say, a tremendous presence. And I don't know of anybody yet that, that isn't impressed with them. And they all think they're worth a lot more money. That, that car all cleaned up and looking nice, the interior done, most people would would think it's thirty thousand quid of a car. You know, it's not. It's still only fifteen to twenty grand, which shows you what fantastic value they are. Mm -hmm. And that can't be there for long. You, you, they've got to increase in value. It, it's not rocket science. You know, anything that's underpriced will only go one way, and that's one of them. And so I'm pleased with mine. I've got one exactly the same colour. Uh, I like it ever so much, and I've got a black one, as you know. Um, it's four and a quarter, which is plenty big enough. Well, it feels like a four and a quarter to me anyway. And it, it, it's plenty big enough. Is it a four and a quarter? It is a four and a quarter, yeah. And, um, but it's plenty big enough. I mean, let's face it, four and a quarter gets up and goes. And if it's got a high axle, which hopefully it has, it felt it coming around the village, then you can safely cruise at 60 odd mile an hour. So you can go on the motorway, you can keep up with modern traffic. And as I keep saying, when you think all those years ago, these coming out in what, 1947, on on the road in them days was all pre-war cars. There was nothing on the road in 1947 except pre-war cars. Simple as that. One or two new ones like, you know, Morris 8 Series E's and Bentley's and stuff like that. But I mean a handful, literally a handful. And and it must have been amazing when one of these, 
Like, man, he came past you on the on the North Circular, and there you were trying to get up to 40 mile an hour in a, in a little little Series One or Series Two Morris Eight or something, and one of these come past you at <laughs> 60 mile an hour. You must have thought, wow, look at that thing, and yeah, it always amazes me. Fantastic car, get it bought.